In the wild realm of crypto and digital currencies, you're advised to expect absolutely anything. From aesthetic crypto projects that skyrocket into space for no real reason, other than living off the short-term hype and sounding promising, to some of the most rock-solid projects with increasing and continuous adoption in the business world accompanied by real-life applications. Willy enough, though for some reason, the second kind of crypto projects are usually either completely underappreciated, still under the radar, or stagnant in their valuation. Today's guide has been dedicated to a crypto project that falls perfectly into this category. Like most of you, when I first heard about the realm of cryptocurrencies, I looked at the news from one of the most skeptical perspectives. To say that I was mistrustful of these cryptos' abilities to grow into anything of real value over the long term would be an understatement. As a matter of fact, the crypto space, as I love calling it, is still in its infancy, making it an extremely volatile environment. Still though, there is a good number of tokens outside of Ethereum and Bitcoin with a real shot at surviving this wild roller coaster that all crypto tokens and currencies are going through. Beyond surviving the crypto space and emerging victorious, the crypto projects that we're talking about also have a real chance at becoming successful in business and thriving in the long term. With that in mind, I consider today's subject, VeChain, to be, without a doubt, one of the most solid crypto projects you'll find in the crypto realm. We're going to delve a lot deeper into this astounding project, and by the end of the guide, I hope you'll be in a better position to make an informed decision whether or not you're going to be looking at VTerm in the long run. So, what is VeChain? When it comes down to understanding exactly what VeChain is, I've come across two different descriptions that I believe you'll find very helpful. Of course, you can take a look at the project's white paper with all the details, which will define VeChain as a public blockchain that has been designed for mass adoption of blockchain technology by businesses of all sizes. The platform is intended to serve as the foundation for a scalable and sustainable business blockchain ecosystem. If you find that too hard to digest, I've found something that is, you know, quite clarifying. VeChain is simply a blockchain platform crafted to improve business supply chain management processes. VeChain's goal is simply to streamline these procedures and information flow for intricate supply chains through the use of DLT, Distributed Ledger Technology. From one of my friends, the last description defines VeChain as a blockchain platform that aims to use the Internet of Things, IoT, and distributed governance technology to design an ecosystem that helps solve some of the main problems with supply chain management. The idea that VeChain is to boost transparency, traceability, and efficiency while at the same time minimizing costs and giving more control to individual users. Now, a brief look at the platform's history. Launched in 2016, VeChain is the product of co-founder and creator Sunny Liu, an IT executive who was a former at Louis Vuitton's CIO in China. After the creation of VeChain, Liu has since become quite a legend in the crypto space. He's recently become best known for bringing attention to the ability of blockchain technology to solve the issue of transparency in particular. He argues that blockchain technology can help craft trust-free structures that do not suffer from corruption as a part of the supply chain. Lu's fellow co-founder, Jay Zhang, directs VeChain's financial management, governance, and global corporate structure. Zhang previously worked for both PricewaterhouseCoopers and Deloitte in the risk and finance management spheres. Now, with this information, we do know that these banks are some serious players in the global economy, showing us that VeChain isn't messing around when it comes to their financial systems. And now before concluding VeChain's description, you also need to understand the two tokens central to VeChain's operations, VThor and VET. The VeChain blockchain has implemented these two token models to stabilize transaction fees. With that in mind, the oldest and first VeChain coin, VET, is used to transfer and store value across the token. VThor, on the other hand, is required for any transactions that take place on VeChain's blockchain. Initially, VET was the token used as a fee collection token on VeChain. However, a little later, VThor was developed to help isolate VET from computations on the network. Unlike VET, VThor boasts a liquid supply chain that VeChain's team can adjust to stabilize transaction fees. This ensures that business applications that run on VeChain's network will therefore not be exposed to high fees you're likely to experience on other blockchains. Another thing worth noting, alongside acting as a transfer of storage and value, VET is now used for the platform's governance. Why we know how VeChain ends. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that my aim is to offer simple guides that allow you to understand the crypto realm. With that in mind, I constantly aim to do that and I'm trying to come up with a weighted scale that aims to review crypto projects on different facets including, not limited to, security, user experience and benefits, customer service, the developer activity, the community activity, the price history, the circulating and total supply, and all of the things that are going to be pivotal in determining whether or not the crypto succeeds in the end. 
Now, when it comes to VeChain's fundamentals, the platform announced that VThor's main net has surpassed 10 million blocks. The platform's developers explained that this milestone is a testament to the blockchain's stability, security, and scalability. As adoption has grown, it's only going to fuel VET to higher highs. Now, why am I so bullish about VeChain for the long term future? As of September 15th, the VeChain cryptocurrency was at 11 US dollars. Now, I know this is way lower than expected since its recent high of $25 in April 17th. The token still boasts a very good chance of hitting higher highs in the coming months if the bull run manages to continue. As a matter of fact, it seems to have already bottomed out at $5.07 on July the 19th. Just for a bit of perspective, consider this. VeChain's token price was $1.09 as of December the 31st, 2020. That implies these tokens are still up more than 600% year to date. And add that to the fact that a year ago, VeChain was only $1.02. So you'll see that VeChain has been constantly hitting higher and higher highs. And even then, it still hasn't had the major run-ups that many other cryptocurrencies have had. For example, Solana producing a whopping 13,000% gain in the recent weeks. So all of this showcases an extremely powerful performance that could foreshadow a constant upward trajectory for the token. To solidify this opinion, let's take a look at who uses the VeChain platform. VeChainInsider.com keeps an updated list of all existing large businesses around the world and VeChain partnerships using VeChain as a blockchain solution. Seeking Alpha even created a detailed guide exploring VeChain's appeal to a huge number of corporations around the world. As of the creation of this guide, there are five firms with strategic partnerships with VeChain. These include BitOcean, Yaida China Holdings, China's National Research Consulting Center, PricewaterhouseCoopers, and DNV. Other major firms looking into adopting VeChain include BYD, LMVH, and BMW. In the latest financial executive report, the VeChain Foundation indicated that three new firms had started using the VeChain software. This includes a Danish firm known as Reese Project and Hydro, the Norwegian aluminium manufacturer. Reese's project's goal is to get rid of plastic in rivers and oceans using VThor as a powered solution. Another reason I'm optimistic about VeChain is it's to do with its deep ties with China. The nation is a critical crypto market that is quite difficult to enter for firms that aren't inherently Chinese. As I elaborate in the next section of this video, the project has partnered with several Chinese government bodies including CAFA, the China Animal Health and Food Safety Alliance. In addition to that, the company has a Chinese CEO, Sunny Lu, that has an office in Shanghai, which is headquartered in Singapore and much more. Now, what's the end use case of VeChain? Out of the tens of thousands of crypto projects in the blockchain realm, VeChain is one of the extremely few whose businesses focus on using BAAS, blockchain technology as a service. VeChain has done this through its innovative VeChain toolchain platform. Most cryptos you'll find in the ecosystem, on the other hand, are in fierce competition with each other. To either safely transfer value from one account holder to another, or to tokenize assets and decentralized finance (DeFi) projects. All this explains why, to date, VeChain still has no real competition in its ability to bring the blockchain technology to solve real-life, everyday problems experienced by most businesses around the globe. Let's take a look at a few examples. For starters, the platform can be used to track authenticity. To do this, project managers will need to firstly assign QR codes with unique VeChain IDs stored on VThor's two genuine products. Subsequently, operational staff will be able to collect and upload cycle records directly on the blockchain. After the project reaches final consumers, these consumers can then scan tags and retrieve all the project's manufacturing data directly from V4's ledger. This will allow these consumers to quickly and easily identify whether these goods are counterfeits or not. VeChain can also be used to track a last mile delivery, transportation medium, storage temperature, and the quality of alcohol bottles or medical packs right from their manufacturing facilities the final deliveries. Overall, we've seen that VeChain still has massive room to grow, and we've seen that VeChain has real world applications, unlike many of the terrible tokens in the current crypto community space. So, what does this bold for the future? Well, it means that VeChain is sitting at quite an undervalued proposition, meaning that if you are invested, now is not a terrible time. Now, of course, we can't give out investment advice, and I certainly can't tell you guys if you should buy or sell any cryptocurrency. But you should always look at where the cryptocurrency is headed in the end. And that's what I aim to do with the series, showing you where the cryptocurrency will end, so that if you're here right now, you can figure out whether or not you want to jump in before it does.